Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Yes, we'd like that, actually. Talked about work earlier. Time with special tasks group studying genophage. It wasn't entirely honest. Lie of omission. Also, other kinds need to clear the air. Mission too important to keep secrets. Work on genophage was more than just study. What was the special tasks group doing with the Krogan genophage? Study at first, as I said, but uncovered surprising data. Krogan population was increasing at faster rate than expected. Krogan were adapting to genophage. Overcoming disease. Did the Krogan evolve, or did some of their scientists develop a treatment? Krogan scientists? <laughs> Never met Krogan scientists worthy of term. No. Natural evolution. Krogan physiology incredibly durable. Organ redundancy, backup systems, cellular regeneration. Genophage like any other natural hazard. Krogan evolved past it. The genophage was a terrible mistake. It nearly destroyed the Krogan and their culture. Now they have a chance to recover. Naive viewpoint. Krogan too dangerous to allow unchecked birth rate. Look at Krogan rebellions. Personally led a science team. Geneticists, chemists, sociologists, mathematicians. Created new version of genophage. Released it onto Chanka, other Krogan-centric areas. Restabilized Krogan population. You never considered other options? Hundreds. Thousands. Modified genophage offered best outcome. Stabilized population, avoided publicity that could incite Krogan anger, averted potential genocide or devastating war. Best solution for whole galaxy, Krogan included. How did you distribute the modified genophage? Covert drops, hospitals, clan centers, water supplies. Very difficult. Few Solarians on Tuchanka. Team got caught a few times. Had to fight free. <sighs> Messy. Better when things went as planned. How did your genophage modification work? Krogan evolution attached garbage genetic code to genophage attack sites. Modification created other areas for garbage code to connect. Left sites clean, capable, running smoothly. The genophage was a mistake bordering on a war crime. Recreating it is unforgivable. Don't want me on team? Don't bring me. Can stay here, work on collector research. But no apologies. Did what was right. <sighs> Hope you do the same if necessary. Should get back to work. Talk more later. Next time, tissue synthesis has to compile. Good for free time. Shepard, how can I help? Is the lab working well for you? Quite satisfactory. Found a few surveillance bugs. Destroyed most of them. Returned expensive one to Miranda. Nothing unexpected. Just need more samples. More collector data, tissue samples, anything you can get, I can use. Find new tech. Are there any medical concerns I should be aware of on the team? Cerberus personnel in excellent condition. No squad concerns to report. Always some matters, but nothing affecting immediate mission. Any ideas on other ways to prepare for the collectors? Ideas, yes. Expensive, but possibly valuable. Can show you. Shepard, how can I help? Any ideas on other Sorry, ways? Sorry, I've done what I can. Focusing on studying collector tech. I'll let now. you work. We'll be here if you need me. What's this area of the ship? This is the Normandy's technical lab where you can investigate new research upgrades that will improve ship or team performance. All upgrades can be developed in the Normandy's lab, provided you have acquired the necessary resources. You can find... That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard. Commander, can I help you with something? I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. If you want, Commander. Cerberus has ranks, but it's not the Alliance. No rules about fraternization. Your boat, your call. You want to get friendly with everyone? That's your business. You sound hesitant, Jacob. Am I putting you on the spot? You're trying to. Sorry if I knee-jerked. Cerberus puts a lot of suspicion in your head. I like you, Shepard. So talk, and we'll see how it goes. Anyone waiting for you back home? Only child and no extended family. Never settled down. 
didn't seem fair with this job, but you can't miss what you never had. No Mrs. Taylor waiting in port, Jacob? I'm surprised. Don't be. Easier that way. Cerberus keeps you mobile, aside from guarding you for two years. Not the worst job I've had, that's for sure. Where are you going with this? Consider it dropped. I trust you to keep everything professional, Jacob. Thanks. That always bugged me about the Alliance. They didn't let people handle their own problems. Cerberus isn't any better. They just put more effort into hiding how much they spy on you. Let them watch. We're not hiding anything. Wouldn't matter if we were. It's not like they can reel us in. We're handling this, whether they like it or not. Anyway, I should get back to prep. Nice talking to you, Shepard. Let's do it again sometime. Commander, you've received a new message. How is our newest Turian crew member doing? His injuries looked painful. He's been through a lot, not just physically. There's something about him. I just want to hold him close and whisper, it will be all right. I've been through a lot too, Kelly. Some of your therapy sounds perfect right now. Someday we'll have to set aside some time and really talk. Anything else, Commander? Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. I better go. Okay. Maybe we'll talk later. Hey, Commander, we got Garrus back. That's great, because he was totally my favorite. With that pole up his ass. I assume everything's going well up here? We're just having an argument over personalization of my workspace. Cerberus regulations are clear, Mr. Moreau. Personalization does not include grease on my bridge cameras. <laughs> it's just mad that all its footage of me looks like a dream sequence. I assume everything's going Good well up Good for now. Here. Fractured my thumb on the mute, but I think I made my point. What do you think about the people? Well, working? about... I would never say anything against Moran. Jacob is... It's just my opinion, though. There's really no need to go spread Everything it. About <laughs> yeah, we're stuck in a weird place, sure, but back then it wasn't... That's a, it for see now. See you, Commander. Yes, Shepard. I want to know more about you. Do you have a specific inquiry? How are you getting along Mr. with Mr. Moreau does not trust you. Yeah, me. the last Normandy did just fine without an A. It's all for now. you out, Shepard.
Don't laugh, I like those books. Romance novels, crime novels, the classics. There's something about the feel of actual paper in your hands, their musty smell. It's relaxing. Keiji used to find books for me while on the job. Some of these are more valuable than the objects he was hired to steal. for them in New Canton. I'm shipping my family back to Earth. You can afford that? Cerberus looks out for their own. They're funny to transport for me. It's the least they can do when we're putting our lives on the line. Thank you, Commander. Rupert put the new supplies to good use. How may I help you, Commander? There's a very good chance I've, this mission... We, I've lived a full life. Commander... this area of the ship the gunnery control station the ship's batteries are controlled from here the combat information center operators send targeting information here the CIC decides who to shoot gunnery control decides how to shoot Shepard need me for something have you got a minute sure just checking the weapon systems you can never be too careful I thought I'd seen every weapon in the galaxy in our fight against Saren Mercenary work showed me otherwise. And now Cerberus rebuilds the Normandy with a few upgrades to boot. I wish we'd joined up with them sooner. We haven't joined Cerberus. They're funding our mission. That's all. Relax, Shepard. Just a figure of speech. I can't exactly doubt your judgment. Not after I got my own squad killed. What did your Merc squad do? Didn't sound like you were available for hire. You saw Omega. It was full of thugs kicking the helpless. I formed my team to kick back. We weren't mercenaries. At least nobody was paying us. We made money by taking down slavers, pirates, or gangs that went too far. It sounds like you were just another gang. Then I'm saying it wrong. We didn't shake anyone down. No civilian casualties. That was our rule. Every member of my team had lost someone to Omega's gangs. We weren't out to get rich. We were out to make those bastards think twice before murdering someone in the street. How'd you end up fighting mercenaries here on Omega? I went back to CSEC after the Normandy was destroyed, but with all the rebuilding at the Citadel, there was too much chaos for me to really help. Omega was filled with criminals nobody else could touch, and there was no red tape to slow me down. It was a perfect fit. People here needed someone to believe in, someone to stand up to the local thugs. That explains how you started. How'd you end up with a squad? Not too different from how you formed your squad to fight Saren, actually. You prove that you get things done, and people join up. Mercs who wanted to atone. Security consultants tired of playing by the rules. I gave them hope. And now they're dead. Shows what I know. Tell me about your squad. There were 12 of us, including me. Former military operatives. CSEC agents. The usual. Had a Salarian explosives expert. Pretty sure he'd spent time in the special tasks group. My tech expert was a Batarian, believe it or not. Not the friendliest guy, but... He could hack any system ever built. How did those mercenary gangs take down your team? It was my own damn fault. One of my people betrayed me. A Turian named Sidonis. He drew me away just before the mercs attacked my squad. Then he disappeared. Everyone except me is dead because of him. And because I didn't see it coming. I'm not sure I understand. What happened exactly? Sidonis asked for my help on a job. When I got to the meeting point, nobody was there. By the time I got back to our hideout, the mercs had killed all but two of my squad. And they didn't last long. Do you know where Sidonis is now? No. His trail vanishes after he leaves Omega, but I'll keep hunting. I lost my whole team except for Sidonis. One day I'll find him and correct that. Thanks for coming by, Shepard. I've got some things to take care of.
Shepard. Need me for something? What can you tell me about the Normandy's armaments? Looks like Cerberus upgraded what the ship carried before. Should have a bit more kick. I still don't like our chances against a collector ship, though. Not unless we upgrade the guns. Have the Cerberus crewmen given you any trouble? I think being part of the team that took down Saren got me some points. Everyone I talked to was polite, anyway. Don't worry, Commander. We're all working together. Have you got any upgrade ideas for the Normandy's weapon systems? A few, yeah. Here, take a look. Shepard, need me for something? Have you got any upgrade ideas? A few, yeah. Here. Commander, what can I do Do you, you have a minute, Miranda? There's a lot to do, Shepard. Maybe another time. Do you have a minute, Miranda? There's a lot to do, Shepard. Maybe another time. Anything I should know the regarding... The crew's working well, and the ship appears to be performing... What exactly are your duties? I'm the elusive... Aside. aside from that, I send regular have reports. Have you got any ideas for A few ideas, yeah. Commander, what can I do for you? What exactly are your duties I'm, aside? aside from that? Of course, Commander. bumped into Zaid recently. Quite the character. Given how much violence and destruction that man's seen, he's surprisingly well-adjusted. Still, I wouldn't want to be alone with them. Anyway, what's up? Is there anything Not I should know? Anything else, Commander? Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. I better go. Okay. Maybe we'll talk later. No messages for you, Commander.
been completely eradicated, Shepard. I have also run searches for reports on Archangel. The various mercenary groups appear to believe that he is dead. This data pad was on one of the mercs going after Archangel. They were coming for you next. Let me see. Interesting. Would someone like to tell me how this information slipped the net? Uh, I'll, I'll look into it. You've done a lot for me, Shepard. Let me return the favor. We're sending your coordinates to a cache on an uncharted world. You want it? It's yours. Can use any help we can get. Whatever you find is yours to deal with. Thanks. Maybe I'll come back later. You should find a nice young man to keep you warm in the meantime. You look like you need to lose nothing. You want to talk? Talk to Arya. I never know what you This should come in handy. Captain Gavorn, head of the Vorja Task Force. Got something to report? I'll just be Keep going. Keep up the good work.
Maybe a fish, then? What? Why? It's a fish. Fish have nothing to do with it. Besides, it'll be dead in a couple of years. The important thing is to embrace the time that you have to spend with a fish. No, oh, for... Is this the lifespan talk? I'm not having the lifespan talk. Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. Greetings, Earth Clan. You will find many excellent ships for sale here. Only slightly used, yes. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store in the Citadel. Commander Shepard. The nerve enhancements say that there are occasional motor control side effects. Jake loves to run. What if it makes him fall down? Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Not at the moment. Think I've unlocked collector interest in humans. Wait, no. Only one heart. Krogan, anything else? I'll let you We'll work. be here if you need me.
probe launched. Probe away. Probe. Probe launched. Probe away. Launching probe. Launched. 
launching probe. Launching probe. launched. Launching probe. Thank you. 
probe launched. Probe away. Launching probe. Launching probe. Launching probe. Launching probe. sensors.
Commander, you... How may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I no, should know? Anything else, Commander? Do you have a moment to I talk? I always have time for you, Commander. Okay. Maybe we'll talk later. Immediately followed, founded by notorious Batarian slaver Solom Dalsera, the Blue Suns began as a Skillian Burge protection racket, providing genuine protection from slavers and pirates. Eventually captured by the Systems Alliance Navy, Dalsera beat almost two dozen charges to be convicted on a single count of conspiracy. The slaver benefited from the tutelage of cellmate and brilliant con artist Bernard Legitz Ledger. Upon release five years later, Dalsera incorporated Blue Suns as a legal security agency. Today, the Blue Suns boast a galaxy-wide force of Batarians, Turians, Humans, and Krogan. Each deployment is backed by a logistics corps, selling everything from heavy weapons to shaving cream. Despite claims that Blue Suns sells its captives as slaves, no Blue Suns employee has ever been convicted on such charges. Many Blue Suns members sport the company logo in tattoo form, removed during assignments, and reapplied at mission end. Brainchild of Asari Commando Jonas Sedaris, Eclipse was incorporated as a proactive security company. Influenced by Asari and Salarian military doctrine, Eclipse specializes in sabotage, assassination, and personal and organizational security. Although Citadel governments regard the corporation with suspicion, it's embraced in the Skillian Verge and Terminus systems. Early on, Sedaris sought government contracts to establish market share against the better established Blue Suns. Her agency scored a galactic PR coup by retaking several space stations captured by the Anher People's Liberation Army and neutralizing its leaders. A victory Eclipse's marketing department, originally a small Terminus systems Vorcha gang, the Blood Pack was transformed into a legion by visionary Krogan battlemaster, Gunnar Rang. Exiled for striking a female in anger, Rang obsessed over reclaiming his lost status. Leading the Vorcha Pack as a pirate crew, Rang cultivated recruits and infamy for a decade before incorporating his fighters as a security company across the Skillian Verge. His notoriety ensured his initial public offering for investors made him rich beyond most Krogan's dreams. Rang returned triumphantly to his clan, rallying elders, Krogan hordes, and... The systems of... Following the Battle of the Citadel, human and Turian volunteers conducted a massive three-month recovery effort to clear the station's orbit of debris. Secretly, the Turian Office of Technological Reconnaissance volunteers were technology recovery specialists, salvaging the main weapon of the Geth flagship Sovereign and large amounts of its valuable Element Zero core. Contrary to popular belief, Sovereign's main gun was not a directed energy weapon. Rather, its massive Element Zero core powered an electromagnetic field suspending a liquid iron-uranium tungsten alloy that shaped into armor-piercing projectiles when fired. The jet of molten metal accelerated to a fraction of the speed of light, destroys targets by impact force and irresistible heat. Only 11 months after the battle, the Turians produced the Thanix, their own miniaturized version of Sovereign's gun. The Thanix can fire reliably every 15 seconds, rivaling a cruiser's firepower, but mountable on a fighter or frigate. Still in its experimental stages, the M622 avalanche generates a Bose-Einstein condensate within a mass effect bubble, which dissipates on impact, violently spraying the condensate outward and coating the target in a near absolute zero superfluid. The avalanche is unreliable, at times merely coating its target with ice, defacing exposed skin and freezing armor joints. 
Such low temperatures cause great damage to electronics like kinetic barrier emitters, which sometimes leads to total systems failure. At the other extreme, the avalanche freezes flesh and bone, causing massive trauma as blood vessels constrict and frozen blood expands. Occasionally, such ice tissue shatters.